Hello and welcome to the Tweet Outer Works video tutorials. This first video is going to be showing the basics of getting started with Tweet Adder. And for those that don't know, Tweet Adder is a very powerful piece of marketing software that allows you to really unlock the full potential of Twitter, as well as automate all the repetitive tasks associated with marketing on Twitter. I already have uh, Tweet Adder installed and loaded as you can see. And when you first open Tweet Adder, it brings you to the overview screen. And currently we have no users because we haven't added any. For the purpose of these video tutorials, I have created a sample Twitter account for the fictitious entity of Max Coffee Shack. I just created this Twitter account today, so it's brand new. I gave it some basic background and design upgrades. And this is the Twitter account we'll be using as we go through the video tutorials. Now that we have our Twitter account, we want to go back to Tweet Adder and add that account. Simply click on the Manage Users tab, add the Twitter username, the password, click the product license that you want to associate it with, and click Add User. There we go. If we go back to the overview, we can now see Max Coffee Shack has been added to Tweet Adder, and here's the overview. You can open the user in one of two ways. Click down here while this user is highlighted, or click here, and it will give us a drop down of all the users we have available. One of the first things you'll notice about TweetAdder is the ridiculous amount of options available to you. Under Settings, this option right here allows you to minimize the program to the system tray instead of the taskbar. This is key if you're running TweetAdder all day um, to automate your Twitter task. Simply click the checkbox and then click done. We go back to our user and check out some more of the other options under settings. Uh, the custom user agent actually allows you to choose which browser the program is emulating when it's interfacing with Twitter. Here we have a couple of other time settings, um, only run automated tasks, update it, followers and following every such and such minutes, um, and here's the real powerful one connect using proxies for this account. Um, proxies are very powerful if you are using multiple Twitter accounts uh, with TweetAdder. It allows you to appear like you're interfacing with Twitter from several different locations across the country or wherever your proxies happen to be. I'm not going to go into it too far but TweetAdder allows you to use uh, their proxy service finder um, service to find fresh proxies that you can use with uh, TweetAdder. Uh, next is the black and white list. The black list is, gives you the opportunity to enter user IDs that you never want to add, that you never want to follow. Um, this could be a competitor, this could be anybody that you do not want to add. Uh, opposingly is the whitelist, um, which basically safeguards any users that you want to add to the whitelist. They will never be removed or all. And that's it for the basic options. We definitely have enough to get started. So to get started, we need to find like-minded individuals. And we're going to use TweetAdder's powerful search options to find others that are interested in our niche or cause or whatever it is we're trying to market on Twitter. TweetAdder has really covered all the bases when it comes to search options, making it a very powerful tool to find those like-minded individuals on Twitter. There's the ability to search tweets, search profile data, people's biographies, search by location, which is key for local businesses, search followers of a user, followed by a user, and then Twitter lists. For our example, Max Coffee Shack, I'm going to be searching profile data. I'm looking for people that are so fanatical about coffee that they've listed it in their profile. I've used the keywords coffee lover and you notice that I've used quotations. This is the exact search operator, meaning that the search is going to return profiles with these two words in that exact order in their profile. There's a full list of search operators in the tweet editor manual that you can check out. So I've got my keyword set, I'm going to click search now. and TweetAdder has returned 1,008 results. This is a great start. Okay, our next step is to add our search results to the to follow list. We do that by simply clicking the Save All button. TweetAdder tells us how many IDs were saved, and we can view them at our to follow list. 
the to follow list is exactly what it what it says it's a pool of IDs and profiles that we're going to be following the next step is to follow these users we do this by clicking on the follow button over here and we have some options to fill out send follows now number of follows to send I like using a very random number um, so it doesn't look too automated and I like to bump up the time delay just to make it look more realistic more human and after we have those settings set we simply click start and I will be back after we have added those to show you the results okay it looks like TweetAdder has completed sending out our follow requests it sent out 44 just like we asked it to if we click on the following link we can see the Twitter profiles that we are now following and it looks like we even have a follower which is great that's the whole idea the more followers the bigger the audience for our message well that concludes our first video stay tuned for our next video we will be getting a little further into the full features of TweetAdder thank you